for the Patreon and I still maintain that I, I don't think Jackson wanted to make fun of it. I, I think you just legitimately wanted somebody to watch it with you. <laughs> <laughs> so you tricked me. <laughs> no, I, it's fun watching stuff with you. No, oh, thank Aww. you. Not that, that show, show though. The show is just <laughs> bad, though. It is it is sad to see what's happened because I think Ewan McGregor is a cool Obi Wan, but this show is awful. What what it what's all right? We can can we talk about spoilers then? Because I want to know what you're referencing in particular. Uh, the most recent episode, episode four, when there's the uh, uh the fight, the the cool fight with the. I haven't seen it. Okay, I'll just describe it then. This isn't really spoilery. There's a fight that breaks out. Obi-Wan is cornered by two stormtroopers and a seeker droid, but Ewan McGregor's kind of old, so he can't do a lot of his cool moves, so what ends up happening is the stormtroopers and the seeker droid just keep missing at point blank, <laughs> and then eventually the stormtrooper and seeker droid shoot each other around Obi-Wan, and then Obi-Wan starts deflecting the stormtrooper's bolts, but not because he's moving his lightsaber, it's because the stormtrooper just keeps shooting his lightsaber, which is held static in front of his head. He doesn't really do much movement, I guess, Why? because he doesn't want to move that much. And then he kills that stormtrooper. It's like a it's like a one Isn't minute it be cool. What? Yeah, it's supposed to be cool. It's like Obi Wan's back in business, baby. He's he's here again. So is it just poor action direction or? Oh, it's so it? bad. Yeah, it is beyond poor uh, choreography here. Well, I, was... I, I guess that makes sense since the whole chase scenes have been really bad. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> really bad. And then at the end of the episode, which is what a lot of people are criticizing because it's super silly, uh, in order to escape a hostile area with with the girl, with Le this is a spoiler now, but whatever, with a <laughs> Leia, he gets a large trench coat and a hat and he puts Leia in the trench coat and walks with her out with it. <laughs> that's the whole cries. scene. Uh... <sighs> Why Star Wars do we Jurassic need World just need to go on like a ten year break? Why do we need to know every single facet of every tiny step of what Obi Wan did before the movies? The whole point of Episode Four is Obi Wan was a character shrouded with mystique and a strange past. That was the whole point. God damn it! I'm so sick of this. It's such a yeah, it's no, they're so trying to bad. Milk it. It's just so fucking bad. They don't even try. They really don't even try. Well, uh. that's that's what entertainment businesses do, though. It, it's a it's it's the system. You make one good thing. Well, mm -hmm. this is the goal anyway. You want to make one good thing to attract a large audience, and then you milk that shit till it's dry. What people don't yeah. realize in these fucking positions is people want a continuation. They don't want like the same thing redone without anything somewhat new like i, I you get, say that well no i get i get when you have a universe and you can throw in references and other cheap things to make people like entertained by it but so many franchises just fucking spin themselves in the ground because like they go to make a sequel and there's just nothing to it it's just the same shit over and over and over again I'm so tired yeah, you of say it that you say that but we've already established that people Love this. I know. But this is also how they die. Who's <laughs> <laughs> the <Sucks. laughs> it Fucking sucks. <laughs> Can I just read Jeez. another Jurassic World review to cheer myself up? Please. I found a good yeah, one. Please. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's so nice this, to know that there are people out there that are enjoying it. This has five stars. Aww. Re related to other Jurassic Saga. Yes. Old cast from other Jurassic Saga. Yes. Cursing, <laughs> yes. Funny, <laughs> some parts, yes. <laughs> some parts. That's the whole review. It wasn't, it wasn't even funny enough to fucking get a yes from this guy. <laughs> this fucking robot. Uh, I but it's related to the other saga. That's five stars. That is five stars. And cursing, yes. It has cursing, yes. <laughs> that is pretty fucking epic. Gotta love yeah, cursing. Some parts are funny. Yes. Yes, some parts, though, not all. No, no, no. I, w I want to know which parts weren't funny to him. <laughs> uh, There's a couple jokes that just fell flat. Well, they just went over his head. He didn't understand it. I truly oh, yeah. wonder what it's going to take for a major franchise like this to get a unanimously hated movie. Like, do they need to make it an hour of Chris Pratt, like, taking a shit in front of the well, camera? I can, no, I can tell oh, you what it is. That. I can mm -hmm. tell you what it is. You just need to have a creator that is, like... Uh, social pariah 
because look what happened with J.K. Rowling and then mm. Secrets of Dumbledore. Oh, oh and, and, to and, be yeah. fair, to be fair, that movie is absolutely atrocious on its own. Yeah, but right. so is this. That's a good question, though. Imagine there's a new Star Wars and it's really competent and it's about new characters and the story's good, but it's made by a social pariah. Do you think people would unanimously hate it and it would bomb? No. 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 I don't crazy yeah. people would pick sides if like okay you no, could have no. the same movie directed once by like johnny depp and then by amber heard and people would pick sides what if you took a what, social what? pariah like amber heard you could still have that bitch like direct a movie right now and it would still be popular i think yeah i don't think a lot well. of people would genuinely give a shit on like uh, no i completely disagree wallets. these these movies are built off the backs of the passionate communities that are terminally online these are the most invested communities in the media age. If you have a social pariah at the helm of them, that's going to bleed through the community and cause them to like turn away from it in because they're so connected. Do you think so? Because like I mean, the average I, movie I goer, do, think do you so. think he's aware of like drama when he goes to the movies? Like some fucking soccer mom with her little daughter going to see Dumbledore do you think she I think the casual audiences only JK's hear Twitter? about it because of all the noise generated by the passionate fans hmm I think it's I the hundred and fifty so. million dollars of marketing is why they hear about the movie oh, hundred <laughs> percent well, wait this, <laughs> why, this is a, why the secrets of Dumbledore fail then because no one wanted it. The the one before it was bad. Also, there wasn't a lot of marketing behind Secrets of Dumbledore. Most people didn't know it came out. I, I think but you're why? doing... Ex what do you mean, why? Why was there no marketing? Was it because the creator was a social pariah now? Very I, possibly. I, I, mean, that, I, I mean, that might be the case. But that's still not the, the community doing it. They just didn't know about it. But uh, It's I was a going byproduct to say, of the community. That's what I'm saying. The community causes business decisions to be made. Mm, I don't... You know what? Did it even fail? Did the movie even fail? Let's see. That was a good question. But I was going to say, the casual. this is exactly what uh, they just did with Morbius, where people overestimate the power of, like, the internet reach. There's still a huge disconnect between internet and casual. Like, most people... And, and Secrets of Dumbledore didn't fail. It made $400 million. It doubled its budget. Oh my god, that is pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. It did. It, well, it, it, it only franchise. make forty million on opening, though. I, I'm curious, what's the downward trend from the other movies? Dude, I don't know, but again, keep in mind also that, that, that could four hundred about... million could still be a failure in the eyes of the uh, the publisher. Let's see what Crimes of Grindelwald pulled in. It pulled in six fifty, so yeah, it was a lot more popular. But this one was also really bad. People hated it, so they probably weren't going to see the third one. While well, also, it's been around for years and years, like four, four years, years yeah. of a head start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure what this one will crack six fifty at some point. Oh, <laughs> Morbius, Morbius. <made> one fifty. <laughs> Morbius is an interesting one. It didn't really have a social pariah in that Morbius one. Morbius has a seventy-one percent really on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't think most people care that much. Like, do you really? They okay. Don't. Also, keep in mind you're talking about a very tiny minority in like America. Do you think some Brazilian mm -hmm. moviegoer gives a shit about Amber Heard and her drama? I think like, most box office still comes from America, though. Uh, I don't know if that's true. Could be. I'm pretty sure it does because most other countries. I think, apart from, like, Europe, probably, like, pirate most of it. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Oh, I just think... Like a hard I, claim to prove. <laughs> I just think most <laughs> of the box office comes from the U.S. But no, actually, know. it's the opposite. The majority you know, of the box know, office comes from international. We have movie <laughs> theaters in Turkey too, Jax, and we don't all have to just pirate shit. <laughs> <laughs> America doesn't have a monopoly on movie theaters. I just yeah, realized Turkey. what a fucking backhanded thing that was to say. In Turkey, yeah, they, have a little town, they have a town square and they have a projector and some guy just sets up his laptop with the pirated movie and like 4,000 people show up to watch it. Yeah, yeah, you can only watch the authentic copy in America. Everything else is bootleg. <laughs> yeah. Well, but I... I if Alright, so my logic for that was why would movies from uh, why would movies be directed towards an american audience then like all right let me, let me give you a